Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. If you enjoy today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. Today's video subject, Do Cats Get Scared When Humans Argue? Before we begin, let's first take a look at today's topic overview. Cats find arguments stressful as they hate hostility and loud noises such as raised voices items smashing and door slamming. Cats don't understand what you're saying and may think that the anger is directed at them. Most cats hide or go outside, but some will aggressively defend themselves. Cats are incredibly perceptive and attentive, and while they certainly don't understand everything that goes on around them and what it all means, best believe that they recognize every little movement and every little change. This is why felines are awfully deeply impacted, for better or worse, by the behavior of their owners inside of the home environment. And while this is a cat video and not a piece dedicated to life structure and general social commentary, I think we can safely state the obvious. Everyone argues. If you live with at least one other person, there's going to be a verbal disagreement from time to time. What this means for your cat is disruption. The otherwise calm and cozy atmosphere has been interrupted. And while it's easy for us to get caught up in our very own feelings and just ignore our pets in the moment, our emotions, especially when elevated, can really take a toll on our feline friends. With respect to this subsection, cats know when there's elevated tension in the home, and they obviously know when voices become raised and tempers flare. And it just can't be stated enough, and we've mentioned this in numerous videos, Cats live for a peaceful and relaxed environment. They seek out tranquility wherever they can find it. Arguing shatters the peace. It can cause cats to feel a great deal of stress and anxiety. Because arguing can send some cats into a tailspin, literally and figuratively, let's take a closer look at some specific reasons. While many of these will be well understood and quite obvious, the objective here is to really allow these consequences to sink in. Let this be a lesson to all of us that our actions, even indirectly, can be quite harmful to not only cats, but really our pets in general. Let's start with hiding. The home is a piece of land. It is prime territory. And arguing can cause your cat to question the safety of this territory. This is why some cats will hide. Under the sofa, under the bed. Felines usually continue this posture until there's a reason to trust again. This is one of the most common reactions to arguing and just overall actions that are jarring and unfamiliar. Next, we have leaving the house. If your cat has the ability, leaving the house could be the reaction to an argument. Heading to the great outdoors for comfort. While this is obviously not an option for some cats, if your pet is able to take this exit ramp, there's a good chance that it will. Next, we have meowing. When there's really no place to retreat, some cats will resort to their very own vocalization, a raised voice to combat the raised tension. It's not uncommon for felines to start in low and then pick up the intensity if panic mode begins to set in. And whether intentional or just that perfect timing, your cat's meowing could serve as a wonderful distraction. By turning all eyes and ears to your cat, that could diffuse whatever conflict is taking place in the home. And finally, we have destructive behaviors. In an effort to cope with the uncomfortable environment, some felines will resort to bad behavior. This can include clawing the furniture, knocking over a glass, everything they would otherwise certainly know not to do. And as we've said, conflict can be jarring to felines. If your cat feels overwhelmed, they'll stir up their very own conflict as a reaction to your conflict. We know that arguing has a negative impact on cats, and we know most of the notable reactions to these high tensions. But why does arguing promote stress in the first place? 
I mean, don't our cats know us and trust us enough to understand that everything is okay? Well, therein lies the problem. To a large degree, they do trust us. And that's why they often react so negatively. Here again, that comfort zone has been broken. Arguing can stress cats out for the following reasons. Overall concern about behavior. This is one of the first reasons behind the stress. Cats really don't know what's going on. They just know that something is, in fact, going on. Am I in trouble? This could be your cat's initial reaction. Is all of this yelling about me? Next, we have loud noises. This is a rather obvious one, and let me just say, it's not loud noises per se, but unfamiliar loud noises. If you have cats, you know this all too well. While cats do love peace and comfort, they can deal with the loud if it's part of the daily routine. Your ice machine, the garage door, the blender. There are many things in the home that are rather loud, but if your cat knows the drill, they're cool. There's a fine line between a loud noise and a noise that is unfamiliar. Arguing shouldn't be common. This means that your cat doesn't see it or hear it enough to embrace it as part of the normal. To your cat, arguing is probably like those 4th of July fireworks. They just don't happen enough to get comfortable. And finally, we have a loss of routine. Cats are, in fact, creatures of habit. They love that daily routine. If they had a plan book or a date book, they'd write it all down. Arguing, well, it wouldn't be in that book. Cats are used to positive attention and affection. This is one of the reasons why cats are able to let their guard down in a structured and loving home environment. Hey, the scary thingies, they only happen in other spots, but not under this roof. When you argue, this not only breaks that routine, but it also leads to some serious questioning, especially if an argument has caused you to forget the standard mealtime. It only takes one episode to break from routine for your cat to feel uneasy. And before we close things out here today, we must talk about the aftermath. How do you make things right and give your cat that positive reassurance? The first step is to give your cat some space. Don't just jump right in immediately after and pretend like nothing happened. Your cat might call you a liar to your face, and we don't need that. Once some time has passed, allow your cat to approach you. Your pet could be a bit skittish and approach you at a snail's pace just to make sure that the tensions have calmed. And of course, if your cat does approach, give your pet some loving pets. Your cat's reaction will likely depend on what happened and for how long. Did the argument last five minutes or five hours? Here again, we're not going to get all huffy into the social commentary, but we all know that some arguments are indeed more heated than others. If you've been around the channel for a while, you likely know that feline and children, that connection has been made quite often. And here it comes again. Your cat is not too much unlike a toddler. With both, you need to be mindful of how you carry yourself, what you say, what you do, all of it. Avoid arguments whenever possible. But when they do arise, do everything possible to keep your cat out of the mix. Shield them from the outburst as much as possible. If you would like more information concerning today's subject matter, please click the initial link in the description box below and join us at SeniorCatWellness.com. And once again, feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if this type of content is of interest to you. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.